Hello. This is a little different, isn't it? Scott's not on his bike again. I thought I would put a little video together about already next year. And well, and the winter to come. And well, a little bit of a reach out to see what you think I could be doing. So in 2024, I am taking a break from the fundraising. There's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, you can't keep asking people for money year on year. It's not. I've been doing it for years this, I think it's five years on the shop when I've done charity challenges of some sort and I've obviously I've done two this year in very close succession but yeah um, and the other reason is the logistics of planning for stuff like this, my own events that is, not others that I'm joining, is frankly enormous and the amount of energy, time, effort, emails, admin and all of that to to do especially the challenge that I did this year with the every county um, was enormous so hundreds of hours re literally hundreds of hours so I'm scaling that back for 2024 but as far as cycling is concerned next year two main plans one you'll be really surprised to hear about yet again it's the Fred Whitten I am definitely getting myself a place in that uh, if I can buy like I did this year, my way in via an additional donation to the Air Ambulance, which is a fantastic charity and something that you know I hope never to use, but has been used. Uh, I would doing it. I would want to be sub seven next year. I've made no secret of this plan now. It's the middle of October. It's the 10th of October ish. Is it somewhere? I don't know. It's early October, early mid October, and I have started training already. Which is one reason why I'm recording this, because I've not had really any outside training to speak of. Went outside last weekend with a mate Tim, somebody else who is also trying to do some seven next year, and it's all his fault. <laughs> I've got this idea in my head. But yeah, sub seven on the Fred is the priority aim for me next year. And I think it's around the 7th of May, somewhere, I don't know the exact date, but it's always around that time of year. And after that, I have also signed up and paid for, so it's guaranteed, the Dragon Ride in Wales at the 23rd or 24th of June. Um, something I'm already really, really looking forward to. Really looking forward to. It's 184 miles, 15,000 feet of climbing. So, theoretically, my head's going, yes, it's 70 miles longer and 3,000 feet more than the thread but it can't possibly be as brutal because the average gradient for the distance is nowhere near as high so yeah sounds more my kind of deal really i it's not as intense shall we say the hills on the fred are what make the fred you're 25 percent at honister and newlands winlet is not steep but it's bank center and then yeah, it's all about hard and rhinos and then blade town to finish i think on the devil ride there is only one Stand me, stand me corrected, there's only one 25% bit on it and I think that's, I can't remember, is it called the Devil's Staircase? I'm not sure. Let me know if you're going, because uh, I've put myself down for 11 hours is my aim, which is like 16 and a half mile an hour average. Hands on the wheel, Scott. Yeah, so fingers crossed for that. Uh, but other plans I don't really have at the moment, I've got live stuff, which I'm doing. So excuse me while I get onto the uh, M6 here. Yeah, I've got some other life plans. I would like to get out to Mallorca. Uh, there's one trip I've already sort of said I can't do with Giant Candle, because it's a bad time of year, I think. I don't know. There's a potential local club route, but I think that's October 2024. Might be a good time of year to go, I don't know. But then I'd like to get out with the same group of guys, a great bunch that I went to Wales with this year. Um, I really want to smash Slack or Labra. My head goes, Scott, get fit, and if you're doing really well fitness-wise for the Fred and the Dragon Ride, Sack or Labra, you know, it's the one to go for, isn't it? 
I'd love to have a go up there and get in a decent decent position. I'm not talking top, you know, top here. I'm talking about a decent position, especially for a relative fat mess who was a big fat mess for 20 years of his life. I do his asthmatic and all of the rest of the stuff. So yeah, I'd like to get to Mallorca. I'd love to get into the Alps, even if it's just for a long weekend. Uh, from here, up in the Lake District, it's about a 15 hour drive, not including the tunnel. I've got options to stay somewhere there. Somebody in the local club has an Airbnb out there, which I'd love to take them up on staying there, because it's basically at the base of Alduas, and I want to go up out of Alduas, I really do. I want to go up a lot of the Alpine passes. It's just something in my head. I'd, I'd love to move out there, really, but obviously, you know, I've got a job, can't do that. Uh, the other major thing for me is that I'm going to the Olympics at the start of August. Uh, I've already got the tickets, I've already booked the hotel. Sorry, Dad, it's your birthday weekend when I'm out there. I'll be sending you best wishes while I'm there. So, yeah, I've got a few live things. Uh, there's, you know, usual weekends, bits here and there that I quite fancy doing, but from now onwards it's get training I'm already on the turbo starting to reintroduce my fitness for next year now end of last year I trained quite hard I did a lot of training to try and get decent fitness for this year and I had a look at my Strava fitness and it's a decent metric because I feed it everything you know it's got all of my heart rate data and it's got mileage covered, and, uh, effort, and everything. I'm, uh, I'll try and find a, a picture of it that I took somewhere. You've, in fact, I'll download one and put it on here now. I am in a better condition now than I was this time last year. And I know I've got a definite goal. And I, my main goal last year was to be fit enough to ride my challenge in June. It didn't really include the friend. The friend was just a bonus this year, 2023. <coughs> so now I'm going to be even more specific with the training. Last year was just doing miles. This year is going to be doing miles at a higher effort. So you know, keep try and keep everything 200 watts ish or more, depending on the length of time. I'd like to be able to do an hour at 300 watts on the flat. I don't think I'll be able to. An hour at 250 watts, I'll be happy with. Um, and I'd like to get the Alpha Swift done in under 45 minutes. I don't know how many of you guys have done the Alpha Swift on there at the moment. I've done 48 and a half minutes of my record. I'd love to beat that because that's good. And I know I had room to spare last year. I'm not quite as fit as I was when I did that. I think that was March. And I was at near peak physical fitness for me then. My average heart rate when I did that 48 and a half minutes was 159. So I know I had some spare. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be lots of Zwifting. Um, tomorrow the weather looks fantastic, so I'm going to get out with the club. Uh, and then Sunday, don't know. I quite fancy some hills, but I'll see how tomorrow goes. But I thought I'd just come on and give you a quick update to where, uh, you know, what I'm looking at next year because I've not been out on the bike much. So yeah, I mean, if you have any plans, if you have any ideas of what you think I would like to do, or if you want me to get involved with something that you're doing, or if you want to get involved with what I'm doing, give us a shout, comment, send me an email. My details are on a lot of my videos. Uh, I'll put my email address here for you. Just ping me a mail or something. If uh, find me on Facebook, you know, there's, there's many ways to get hold of me. If you've got any ideas for me to do, I'll. Not going to say no, but I'll definitely have a look. Oh, I've been invited to do an Audax as well in August. Not sure about that one, but I've not said no. It's a thousand kilometres, the 75 hour time limit. So it's no slouch of a thing. But I've said I want to do Audaxes. I mean, you usually start at about 400k with an Audax, not straight into a thousand. But hey, I might be fit by then. We'll see. <coughs> anyway, this is my junction getting off the M6 nearly home so yeah be lovely if you could share what I do um, the usual like comment subscriptions of course I'm slowly slowly creeping towards that thousand sub mark and I'm hoping that you know from that it'll move on I know it's pennies but pennies are pennies they're better than nothing aren't they
so thanks for watching i'm going to be out on the bike tomorrow so hopefully we'll get some footage of this beautiful beautiful indian summer that we're having every weekend at the moment and uh, yeah big love to you all i'll see you soon